Hey guys, Omega Dark Mage here, and uh, I've just got a quick update uh, for my uh, channel. Uh, I'm just gonna be doing more Smash Brothers videos. I plan on getting a capture card for next year, so I can do um, Smash Brothers live streaming on Twitch. And yeah, I went and got me a special item today at GameStop. I went and got me uh, this. Uh, yeah, this uh, Amiibo 3-pack, uh, it's a little blurry there, let's see if I can adjust that, and so I got this 3-pack, uh, it's got the uh, the Duck Hunt, the Game & Watch, and the Rob Amiibos, it's pretty awesome, uh, the quantities for that are very limited, very, very limited, huh, did somebody just call me, <laughs> um, Ooh, we got a call here. A little while ago. Yeah, the quantities are very limited on that. I had to pre-order it back in uh, August just to guarantee that I would get mine. Yeah, they had a promotion uh, back in August. It was a one-day thing, and I went. Luckily, I made it on time and managed to pre-order mine. Um... I don't plan on opening it, and I don't recommend uh, that these that anybody open them, for that matter. Uh, if you plan on uh, collecting them, yeah. I mean, if you want to play with them, that's fine. But if you really want to play with them, you might regret it a couple of years. Uh, you know, a couple of years in the future. Yeah, I, I could see these guys being very uh, valuable. Um, more so because it's a three pack. That's a very, um, you know, unique packaging for these amiibos since they usually come in, in ones. So to get three in one is just very, very good. I think in other, like, countries, like continents, they didn't, they didn't, um, release them like this. They came in ones. I think, uh, we, we got this three pack in the USA only, so this is exclusive to the U.S., to my knowledge, anyway. But even if that weren't the case, I wouldn't open. I wouldn't open them. <laughs> and uh, the Game and Watch Amiibo looks pretty nice. You can actually swap the figures. You, like, there's like three different figures for him. He has like a parachute one. He has a nine. But I'm not. I don't plan on opening it and actually doing the swaps. <laughs> Yeah, so that's just a bit of advice from me. Don't switch them. Like, don't don't open it to just to switch out the parts and stuff. Don't do that. Just keep it in its packaging. Sell it off or hold on to it if you want to for all I care. Uh, personally, I might sell these off. Because, eh, I might. But that's going to be down maybe 5 to 10 years in the future, to be honest. For now, they're just gonna be in my closet, and I'm gonna put them in a closet and just keep them there. <laughs> um, in other news, um, I've been playing around with my main a little bit, and um, Link. I'm not feeling it with Link lately, so I'm thinking about trying Toon Link. And I tried Robin, but yeah, he was okay. So I'm going to give Toon Link a shot and see how I do against some of these high tier characters <clears throat> with Toon Link. Um, I want to see how I can stack up against the Sheik players, honestly. Probably not amazing since Sheik is top tier, but I'll give it a shot. Yeah, Toon Link's not a bad character. And yes, I do have the Toon Link Amiibo. Uh, that one I opened up because it's not that rare. And that one I did open. And I trained it. It's not the best, but it's, it's a nice little Amiibo to mess around with. So yeah, I just wanted to get that stuff out there. Um, and uh, I'll probably be streaming Smash Brothers next year on Twitch. Once I get uh, the money I need for a new capture card, that'll be fun. <laughs>
So, um, yeah, guys. Oh, Mega Dark Mage, signing out, guys.